Yo, what is going on guys? It is your boy Crims. I bring you guys a brand new video. What you guys are going to be watching today is some Paladins gameplay. I go flawless on here, so I decided why not to upload it. And I'm plus on, the, plus on top of that, why not do a story time? Because I haven't done one in so long. So here with you guys today is another story time. If you guys are familiar with my channel, you guys know I love to do story times. Where I just basically tell stories that happen during my life. And uh, ironically, this story, it takes particularly place about two months ago. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. So about the very end of May, I started deciding to go to the gym. So on June, the very first week of June, I got my membership. So I started going to the gym and I went in the morning. So in the morning, you know how there's always the group of people that go in the morning, afternoon, and then at night, there's always, you know, the group of people always change, uh, you know, you know, for whatever reason, you know, work or anything, whatever. So in the morning, everything was fine. I'd work out and then go home. And then, you know, that just basically be my day and then hop on, play some Call of Duty or something or, uh, you know, just anything like that. So uh, for the first week, it, every for like the first two weeks, I went to the gym by myself. Then the third week came around. My parents started thinking about going to the gym. And towards the end of that third week, they decided to get the gym membership with me. So now we're all going to the gym. My, me, my mom, and my dad, which is consists of my whole family. Uh, it's just a family of three. You know, my mom, my dad, and me. So we all get a gym membership, and we go. We start going to the gym, and everything was fine at first. And then I start realizing, you know, I at first I would just go work out, and that'd be basically it. But then, you know, when you're doing a, a workout, and you know, you kind of pause, and then you look like, you know, you just start looking around, just to you know, like, uh, you know. You know, like when you do that, like pause just to rest your muscles for a little bit when they're tired. So I started doing that and I started realizing that there was a guy that kept staring at me. And I didn't know for what, why, re for what reason he stared at me. You know, when you go, you know, when you go to some place and like someone looks at you, you know, it, you can tell by their facial expression that it's either because they don't like you, they're gossiping about you or anything like that. You could just tell by their facial expression well, with this guy. He would look at me, but it would be a blank stare. I wouldn't know why he would be looking at me. So I was like, he's probably gay or probably finds me attractive. Either one of those. That was my first initial thought. There was no other explanation that came up to mind. Maybe, maybe it even, it wasn't even that. Maybe he just didn't have any, maybe he just stared, wandered on like at every direction that I was at. So, um, so yeah. So for the first week, uh, after that happened, um, I didn't really take it like too serious. I wasn't like, oh, you know, he's staring at me. I have a fucking stalker. But then two weeks came around. The second week came around. And then it got really awkward when it came to the point where now, wherever I was at working out, he would suddenly try getting near to that machine or like ones around it. So in this particular time, he was working out on the machine that works out your ass. And yeah, like to get bigger butts or whatever. And I wanted to work on the machine on the on the side of that which was for your uh for, for my back so i'm working out and he's he, i can see at the corner of my eye that he's kind of looking at me but i'm not sure so what i do to make like you know be positive that he's looking at me is i look at him and as soon as i look at him we make eye contact like like eye fucking contact like it was the most awkwardest thing ever like it, it i i can't even explain how it felt but it was awkward so point is we look at each other and seconds go by and I'm like, is he still looking at me? And I look to my left side again. The man is still fucking looking at me. And I was like, okay, dude, this is weird. Like, why are you looking at me? So then after that, five seconds after the second stare, he proceeds to say something and I don't know what he says. But after he said it, I started going in my brain. I started analyzing and fucking processing everything he could have said. And it came down to two things. He either said my first and last name or he said, I like your socks. Mind you, he said this in Spanish. And in Spanish, when you say I like your socks, it kind of resembles my full first and last name. It kind They kind of sound alike. So regardless of what he said both things are very weird one you don't tell someone you like their socks unless you're trying to start a conversation with them which is a really weird way to start a conversation second how the fuck do you know my know my full first and last name and not even that when he said those whatever it was the soccer my name he still proceeded to try saying something else after that 
But me being stubborn, I decided not to look back that way ever again. And I just stood up my machine and I walked away, still not knowing what he possibly could have said. And now I'm like, I should have probably listened to what he was going to tell me if he knew my first and last name. There's probably a good explanation for it. Because in the gym, I don't talk to anybody. No one knows my name. The only other time I my name ever shows up in that gym is when I use my barcode thing on my phone to sign up where it says my first full and last name on the bottom of it. That's the only ever time my name ever pops up. So it's I still find it pretty creepy as to how he knows my full first and last name or as to what if he said, I like your socks, you know, regardless, he tries starting a conversation with me. That's the point here. What he was going to tell me, I still prob I still don't know. And after that day, he never actually talked to me because I'm pretty sure he probably knew that I found it weird that he was talking to me like that. So I'm I'm pretty sure he's just not going to talk to me at all because he doesn't want to embarrass himself or anything like that. I still don't know if he was trying to talk to me because he found me attractive and he was gay or because, you know, he just wanted to tell me something that he probably knew me or was a teacher somewhere. Although if he was a teacher, I probably would have remembered. I don't think he was a teacher. And by the way, his his gestures were he seemed kind of gay. So I'm going to go with the guess that he was just going to try talking to me. And um, yeah, I'm just going to go with that. And hopefully that it was nothing weird that he was going to try telling me after, you know, calling out my name. So um, but, you know, like I said, I still wouldn't I still don't know what he would have told me if I would have turned around and looked and said, yeah, what's up? You know, like, what are you trying to tell me? Uh, but, you know, the world may never know. But uh, that's going to conclude it for this video, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy it. And uh, keep in mind, if you guys did, don't forget to drop a sub, like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, I'll see you guys in my next video. And uh, also, don't forget to drop in the comment section uh, down below what type of uh, videos you guys want to see me commentate over, any stuff like that. Or if you guys like these and you guys want to see more, don't forget to tell me in the comment section below. And as always, guys, I'll see you guys in my next video. Adios.